In today's video, we're going to be taking a step back to 2019 where we will be opening a Chinese PTCG set called Beauty Dreams Come True. Let's go! What is up, Song Squad? Welcome back to PokeSong, the community for you and I to enjoy Pokemon together. And as mentioned in the intro, we're going to be opening up a Chinese PTCG set, something that I don't do very often on this channel, but it has to be done for this set. And I'm going to be telling you guys why. <laughs> so actually, this video is going to be part one of four in a series basically. So you guys are going to be joining me in this four video series and you may be asking why is it a four part series? Well, here's the reason why. <laughs> Here I have prepared. Boom! <laughs> As you guys can see, I've got here four booster boxes of the Chinese PTCG set called Beauty Dreams Come True or better known as AC2B. <laughs> and basically just to give you guys a little info on what this set actually is because you may be wondering right now, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering like why is Pokesom opening some Chinese cards all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Well, basically giving you guys a little bit of history, as I mentioned in the intro, this set was released in Taiwan and Hong Kong back in 2019. Well, basically towards the end of 2019. So what's special about this set is they actually split it into two sets. So we have set A and set B. So the reason why I chose to open this set today and for the upcoming three videos is because I'm actually chasing after one card in the set. <laughs> and it is none other than the famous Kawaii Full Art Lily. This beauty right here. I'm gonna put her up on the screen for you guys to see. Now I'm not sure if you guys actually recognize this artwork of Lily, but later on when I'm doing the opening, I'm gonna be telling you guys what's so special about this Lily as well as where she can be obtained and why she is that rare, okay? So we're not gonna to talk too much now. I'm gonna get into pre-opening the packs and then we are going to get through the opening right away. Let's do this. All right, guys, so I have pre-opened the packs and as promised, I'm going to be telling you guys why this full art lily is so special. All right, so let's get into the opening and we will be chatting along the way. <laughs> so this full art lily was released, first released back in, back in Japan. Okay, so what's special is that it was actually a promo card. All right, and the only way to obtain that lily in Japan. Ooh, so we got a shiny Magnemite in our first pack. That is very nice. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> so the only way to obtain that lily was to actually enter a tournament in Japan called the Extra Battle Day Tournament. Okay, so the catch is that to enter the tournament, you would actually have to apply through a players, through the players club, which is an online club apparently. And you would actually be entered into a lucky draw 
for a chance to win a spot in the tournament. Okay? <laughs> and each person can only apply to enter the lucky draw once per month. Very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and we got a hollow blame right there. Z striker. That's it. So the next pack. All right, and to continue, once you actually manage to win the lucky draw and get a spot in the tournament, you would actually have to play in an eight man group or eight player group, and you actually have to win. You'd have to be the winner in the eight man group. And by winning, you would actually be awarded a booster pack. All right, it's a promo booster pack and it's a one card booster pack. So there's only one card in that booster pack. And in total, there are only three cards that you can get from that booster pack. And one of which is the Lily. <laughs> I'll actually put all three cards right up here on the screen for you guys to see. They're all very beautiful cards. So starting from the left, you've got the Guzma, which is the least popular. And then in the middle, we have Acerola, the second. Second place in terms of popularity. And then, of course, we have none other than the Lily, which is the most popular of the two. Oh, oh, wow! I did not expect that. Wow, guys. <laughs> I was so busy telling you guys about the tournament and I wasn't focusing at all. We landed the Glaceon, sh Shiny Glaceon GX. Wow, that is beautiful. And actually, I have this card in Japanese as well. I got it from the Ultra Shiny GX booster box. That is beautiful. And in terms of centering, that looks great, actually. Condition of the card looks beautiful as well. All right. So we have actually landed two Shinies so far. Got a Glaceon and a Shiny Magnemite. Very nice. So yes, as um, coming back to the topic, you, you guys can actually see how rare it is to get the Lily card, seeing as she's the most popular and overall it's just difficult to get that booster pack. So coming back to the reason why I'm opening this Beauty Dreams Come True Chinese PTCG set is because all three cards, all three promo cards that I showed you just now, they are all in this set. <laughs> Amazing, right? So they are the same artwork, it's only in Chinese. And I believe that if I'm not mistaken, do correct me if I'm wrong, this is the only set you can get those cards from other than the promo booster pack that you can obtain from that tournament in Japan. So that's what makes this, this particular set very desirable in my opinion. And as I've mentioned just now, this set, Beauty Dreams Come True, is actually split into two sets, A and B. And in my opinion, the B is more desirable due to the fact that it actually contains the lily. All right, so this is the one card that I will be hunting in the four booster boxes that I will be opening for you guys to enjoy. Oh, and not to forget guys, please do click the like button. And if you guys wanna join the Psalm Squad, very simple, just click the subscribe button down below, <laughs> okay? Thank you very much for your support in advance. So getting back to this opening guys, we've got a quite a number of packs to go. We're not going to waste too much time. We're going to start breezing through this since I've already given you guys the 
410 on the Lily. <laughs> And we got a cute EV, a hollow Zapdos right there. We got a slow king. Nothing there. I'm gonna split this up a bit. We got a bit more space. So actually, one booster box has 30 packs. And it's actually quite simple to breeze through them. Oh, we got a hollow Charizard. That is beautiful. And correct me if I'm wrong, this is the Artwork from Dragon Majesty, I believe. Very nice. And we got a Regice at the end. I'm gonna sleeve that up. That was a good hit. I'm not gonna lie. And we got a Prism right here as well. I forgot to sleeve that. Because I was busy talking to you guys. <laughs> I really need to figure out the... Hmm. I think it was... No. I'm not gonna try and do the card trick because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. So we got a Cacleon right there. Very nice. And we got a Reshiram GX. Very nice. So I think it's two from the back. Yeah, the card trick should be two from the back. So we're actually getting a lot of hits. Surprisingly, I mean, I've only done one other Chinese opening, Chinese uh, booster box opening before. So I'm not really sure of the hits, uh, I mean the hit rates and whatnot. But yeah, we'll see soon enough. Got another Magnemite and a Hollow Swampert. So yes, the card trick is actually two from the back. And I gotta say, the Chinese artworks are actually uh, the Chinese print quality. Sorry about that. The print quality is actually pretty good. Quagsire, and we got a Metal Energy Trapinch. And we got a Xerneas GX. All right. Wow. Seems like there are a lot of hits in here for some reason. Sooner or later, we're not going to have enough space up front to put all the hits. And I'm not sure what the um, overall pull rate like. You know, for Japanese booster boxes, they have like guaranteed pull rates, right? But I'm not sure about Chinese booster boxes, unfortunately, but yeah, we'll just go with the flow. And we got, oh wow, look at that. A holographic type flosion. Hmm. That is beautiful. I love type flosion. And actually, I'm gonna sleeve all the other hollows up later on. I don't know why I forgot to sleeve them up. <laughs> But I sleeve the Typhlosion and the Charizard because they are my two favorite starters. And we got a Flygon right here. Loads of trainer cards. Oh, Torchic. Oh, I love Torchic. Torchic is one of my favorite starters, to be honest. And then we got a fabulous looking Duck Trio right there. And a Thunderous GX. Honestly, I'm starting to think like every single pack has a hit. Do let me know guys. Um, do you guys have experience with uh, opening Chinese booster boxes? And if you do, please do let me know are they actually this good? Like almost every single pack we have hits. Vibrava. And we got a Flaffy. Matang. And a Magnezone. Yeah, it seems to me that every pack is guaranteed a hollow, at least. Huh. Very, very cool indeed. Dunsparce and a Alolan Ninetales. Very nice. 
So I'm, act I'm actually having a lot of fun with this set. <laughs> Since every pack has a hollow in it, that is insane. <laughs> and, 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 and all the hollows are of the older generation of Pokemon. And I really like that because that's pretty much my my generation. I'm old, I know. <laughs> and we got a horsey. Oh, there you go. My one other favorite starter, Blaziken. I'm going to sleep that up because that's my favorite. So we got Typhlosion, Blaziken, and Charizard. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> Do you think we're actually going to hit the Lily? I, I'm not sure. Hopefully, got a Rotom, and that's Rotom, right? And we got a Magnemite, Diglett, Seedra, and a Luxray, right? Oh, why this? It's okay. <laughs> I'm like confused right now because I'm having so much fun with this set. <laughs> Professor, Professor Elm. Rotom Quilava. Darkness Energy. Pick it back. And a Scizor GX. That is beautiful. Wow. Seems like we're actually gonna get all the cards in the set in one booster box opening. <laughs> That is crazy. Oh, this here, ladies and gentlemen, is nostalgic. This is an old artwork, I believe. Um, I can't remember what set this was from, but it's definitely an old artwork. Very nostalgic indeed. I have that in my old binder. And we got a Dialga holographic. Let's start breezing through the rest of the remainder packs and see what we can get. Oh! Stakataka! This is like one of the weirdest Pokemon ever, honestly. <laughs> Stakataka. Moving on to to the front, and we're going on Red Eye, Slugma, Fighting Energy. Oh, the Dene, beautiful, a Cosmo, and a Magnezone Holographic. So I think we're actually starting to see multiples of the same holographics already. Mimikyu, Marsh Thump, Metal Energy, Sightseer, Scyther, honestly one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemons, and a Metagross holographic. We are breezing through it! Miltank, the OG, got a Cacleon, Voltorb, and nothing there. Oh well. Moving to the left. All right. Oh, there you go, a Charmeleon. I think this is the first time we are seeing the Charmeleon. Ah, Mudkip's so cute. Cutie fly. Celestila. Breezing through, breezing through. Let's go. Grand Bull, Eevee. Fairy Energy, a Horsey, Beldum, and a Drampa, the Grandpa. Oof, some of these cards are not too good in quality. Hmm. 
hopefully we don't get the lily in a bad print quality. Frogadier, right? Do correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, we got a Charmander and... Solgaleo. Oh, why am I sleeping that? It's okay, I'll sleep that first. Right, so we got Rotom, Electric, Oranguru, and a Prism Xerneas. So we got three packs left, guys. I wonder, honestly, if we can ever pull the Lily. Oh, I did that wrong. Shoot. <laughs> so we got a shiny Scyther, guys. I'm gonna sleeve that first. Alright, so we got two shinies. And a shiny GX. Cubone. Cosmog. And nothing there. So we got two more packs to go. So judging from these pull rates, I think we can only get one secret rare. And we have already gotten it, which is that Glaceon that we pulled just now. Cyndaquil. Fire energy. Slowpoke and a Raikou Holographic. Last pack magic, guys. Let's take a look. And we got a Milk Tank. Lowland Vulpix. Metal Energy. What was this called again? I think it was called Yangoose or something like that. And... Ooh, look at that. A holographic Jirachi. That is beautiful, to be honest. Wow. Okay. All right, so um, that's all for today's opening. We did pretty well, I would have to say. So we had quite a number of hits. And I think um, a lot of them are pretty good. So we had this. The Charizard Holographic, which is beautiful. We got the Shiny Scyther, Shiny Magnemite, and the Shiny Glaceon GX, plus the other GX hits at the back right there, and two Prism cards as well. So I think you can get only one guaranteed Secret Rare per booster box. That is my conclusion on this. We will uh, have to see, I guess, whether the other three boxes are like that as well. If it's the case, then I think it's gonna be really difficult for us to actually pull the lily. But nonetheless, we will try. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, as always, click the like button down below. And don't hesitate to join the Psalm Squad as well by clicking the subscribe button down below as well. Alright, so thank you very much for joining me and I will see you guys in the next one. This is Poké Song.